is Kat, and I'm here with part two of my flea market huge bead haul. And this is part two. And I'm going to show you what's in these two containers. In this container, I'll be showing you some spacer beads. And I believe this is all chain in this container. So let's see what we got here. Let's see, in this first little pocket, we have these little guys, these, those are pretty nice, we have this one which is a little bit bigger, and there's less of those. These are some of my favorite shapes. I love spacer beads and there's a lot of them in this haul. I was really excited to find this box and she had a lot of boxes for sale but I could only choose a few because as it is it was pretty expensive but I got mostly most of the metal things she had available because I love metal accents and different findings and stuff. But I was really excited about this box because it's just stocked full of different spacer beads. And I believe this was the container I added on. I was originally just buying the larger box with one additional container because I thought, I mistakenly thought that this was one of the ones that belonged in the larger container that had all the other findings in it. And then when I realized that wasn't part of it, I added on a little bit so that I could get all the ones I really wanted. But yeah, these are really cute. Um, saw more of what she did with her actual seed beads. I didn't see many metal embellishments on her jewelry, which may be the reason why there's so many of these in here. But they're pretty exciting. I'm not sure if these are real silver. She has them marked as silver. But, I mean, they're precious accents. Kind of neat. I'm not sure of these brands, but but I see a beautiful bead. To me, the brand's not super important. Here we're on the second row here. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff stuffed into one container. And like I said in the other video, I believe, in the one um, container from the first video, I'm pretty sure I made back all my money. These are really cute. Those are blue moon beads. I like those. Here's the box. What do you eat? Not bad. Let's see. These are nice. Got two little holes in each one. Can make a double stranded thing of some sort. Got 
got these right here. Those are pretty nice. You can see they were originally $1.99. But they might cost more nowadays because I think her beads were a little bit older. Probably not a super higher price for these, but I do think they'd be a little bit more expensive because this collection probably varies from older to modern beads because the lady was an older lady. Who owned these before. And some of the brands at least kind of have a look like some of the things I've seen in thrift stores before. So they might be older. Kind of nice. Here's some more double stranded. I think this one had most of the double stranded beads in it. But let's see what do we have here. Kind of little. Hmm. Little drum looking ones. Barrel. Here's the other, even more double sided. That's really nice. That'll be fun to play around with. I like multi layered jewelry. Here's some more nice accent beads. Let's see. I mean, a lot of them have a similar look, but there's different sizes. And a lot of them are actually a little bit different designs. So that's kind of nice. And I don't really mind having similar ones in case I want to make multiples of similar jewelry. I like this. Just a simple, plain accent. Oh, got multiple ones, sorry. Let's see. Ooh, flowers. Being out in nature is one of my favorite things, so I like to incorporate that in both my art and my jewelry. So I'm always attracted to natural things, but then again, when it comes to beads, I'm kind of, I kind of just want all of them, so. I, you know, can't really say too much for picking specific things, but I do think I pick out a lot of nature ones when I have to make a decision between different ones. Because I think flowers and leaves and different things like that are very pretty. And they go along with my style. Which I'm not even sure I have a real style. Just kind of like a bunch of different things and just go with it. Let's see. Here we go. Got a few more to show you. Here's these, which look like little honeycombs, kind of. Those are pretty. Got these. Those are really nice. And then it looks to be a tinier variation of those. There, it got almost completed with the spacer beads. Let's look at these ones. These are the last two for this container. We have these barrels. Those are pretty nice. Mm -hmm. There's that. And 
some more flowers. Those are very pretty. Thank you. And those were those precious accents. Now let's check out the chain. We got this gold one. Gold plated. That's pretty cool. And then we got another one of those gold plated chains from Zoom Moon B. Those are nice. We've got this, which I'm guessing is gold tone, because it just says gold on it. And then we've got sterling plated chain. I've heard of Blue Moon, but I've never, I don't think I've, unless they sell it in Fire Mountain, I don't think I've bought it. That's not probably a word, but we'll go with it. Here's some more sterling plated Blue Moon. Let's see. Here's some more gold plated. That's nice. And then got this little chain. That's cool. Got this little guy, which is also that gold chain. I'm not sure if it's gold plated or just gold toned, but it's pretty and nice and thin. Some good variations of size in this box. And there's, let's see, can you see it there? This little silver plated necklace. And, ooh, this is pretty. Sterling plated chain. It's a nice shine to that one. I like that. More of the gold chain. several of those. I think this whole row is, yeah, I think there's like five of those in that row. And then there's a silver colored of the same kind that there's like four of. I'll just show you one. And then in the last one, there's several of these, like four or five. So... That's all for this part of the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will come back to you with the last parts. Have a good day or good night, wherever you are. Bye! <laughs>